excited when I'm making another very short video here, um, just a week one walkthrough. So explaining exactly what to do in week one. And then when it's finished, I will put it right here so you guys can watch it. Um, so basically week one, if you didn't watch the Blackboard 101 video, um, that's why I'm making this. Um, I'm going to show you exactly how each week will work. And then from there, um, it'll be the same format each week, the same sort of uh, uh, guidance each week. Um, so each week when you come in, the first thing you'll see, you'll go to, you have, you'll come in on announcements, but you'll go to course content and you go to the correct week. So right now, of course, one week one. Um, and what you do is you, this is your to-do list. You will have this at the beginning of each week. Um, it'll look like this. And basically what it is, is color coded and it has three folders usually, maybe two, sometimes maybe one more, but usually it's three folders. Um, and within each folder is going to be uh, a series of uh, assignments, readings, whatever it might be. Um, so this is just to help you kind of keep track of what you need to do that week. It's not, none of this is a leak. So don't try and click on any of this. It won't take you to anything. It's just a list. Um, so you've already done your, for example, this is to do week one. Everything is due again by Sunday at midnight. That's really important. Um, the links in all these will close after midnight. So, so make sure you do it with plenty of time um, to spare. So you've already done your course introduction. Um, and then you will see that I have three folders set up. So I have a basics folder, MLA, and Whitman folder. And then I have a quiz for you. So if you go and you go down here, you'll see that matches up. Basics, MLA, Whitman, and then the quiz. Um, and within each folder, you'll see that you have a reading assignment, usually like some type of uh, Prezi or presentation or video, explanation, lecture. And then um, there may or may not be an assignment within that particular folder. So um, I, if you are looking for the blog, you'll have to go into the basics folder. So you're going to work top to bottom um, each week. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the basics folder. I'll click the link, which is the black underlined section next to the folder. And then I'll again work top to bottom. It'll tell me exactly what to do. So it says open and save. So I'll open and save the document and then I'll go down. I'll watch the video and then I'll do the next assignment, which is the blog. So to access the blog, um, or the discussion board post or the writing assignment, whatever it might be. Again, same as the folders, it's a link. If it's underlined and black and has this um, uh, color picture next to it. So I'll click the link and it'll take me straight to the blog. I will create my blog entry. Um, I'll write my blog, blog basics. And then when it's done, I'll post my entry. Um, and this is a blog is a personal thing, so it is unique to you. I can see it, but no one else can see it. So this is going to be a little bit different than the discussion board. So if I want to go um, back, I can always access these from the left side of the page as well. So my blog, if I get lost, the blog for the basics is right here. I'll just click it, and then I can do my blog entry. Um, if I need to go back, I'll click course content, go back into the unit, into week one and it'll show me exactly what to do. Um, so once I'm done with the blog, I'll come, it'll tell me if you're finished, go back to the week one. So I'll just come back here, click the, the link before it. It'll take me right back to week one and I can continue on to my MLA folder. So MLA, I'll open that, I'll do the same thing. As you can see, there's an MLA guidelines here that I'll download and keep um, and I'll walk through the presentation, but there is no assignment associated with it because this is really just information to help you out when it comes time to write your first essay. Um, and so then I'll go back and I'll do my Whitman folder. So this is my first reading assignment of the week. Um, I will usually have some type of biography for you associated with each of the authors just so you can kind of historically contextualize them. So I'll read my biography real quick. Um, I'll do, it'll have a reading assignment. So I'll do the reading assignment right here. Um, I'll see it's always highlighted in blue. So it's song on myself, part one through five. It's uh, three pages right there. And when I'm done, to this, for this one, I have a video lecture. Sometimes it'll be a Prezi. Sometimes it'll be a, a, a PowerPoint, whatever it might be. Um, there's usually be some kind of explanation. I'll click that. I just have to say it's a YouTube video. I'll click it. I'll play it. I'll watch it. When I'm done, usually there will be an assignment, but this one is going to have a week one wrap-up quiz for the whole um, week. So it'll take all the materials for the week. So if I'm finished, I will go back to week one and then um, I will click the very last thing, which is the week one quiz. Now, the quiz is not available yet, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to click the quiz and then when I'm ready, it'll say begin and I'll begin. Now the note about quizzes, again, you can access them just like the discussion board and the blogs. 
You can access it on the left if you need. It's right here. It's the week one quiz. Same thing. It'll take you straight to it. Um, the thing about this quizzes are that you can have as much time as you need, um, but you have to do it in one turn. And there are no more. I never do any more than ten questions on a quiz. Um, so it's it's easy to do in one turn. It's just that you can't save it and return to it later. Um, so again, that's your week one. I can go back and I can see that I have done everything on my list. I've done the quiz. I can check everything off. And when everything is done, I can see that I am finished for the week. So again, because these um, weeks are weeks one through five are available to you, I could continue on to week two if I wanted to, or I can start again on Monday um, with week two. So hopefully that's a good explanation of how each week is going to work. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Otherwise, go ahead and get started.